All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Will Smith slap has just gotten way out of hand. I, I mean, I mean, if it's fake, it's fake, but it almost seems real. I don't know. Like it's, I've seen them fake stories like this before, like Madonna when they faked her bad plastic surgery. They even had her dad come out to the event, right? And her dad was there, and her dad was like, "Oh, my daughter," you know, and she looked terrible. And I was like, "Oh my God!" Like, is she? Gonna live back home. Obviously, she's rich, so she's not going to. But I'm like, she looked so bad, and I was like, oh my god, I feel bad for Madonna. And so, you know, you get into this whole thing where you're like, oh my god, I guess Madonna is gonna never be the same again. And then a week later, she comes out with an album or whatever amount of time, and she looks amazing, and you're like, oh my god, I fell for it. So same with this Will Smith slap. I don't know if it's real, I don't know if it's fake. Like the Harvey Weinstein thing, the Me Too movement, that was all real and you're just like so shocked, you know. Some of these stories are real and you, do, you don't find that you actually would believe it would even happen. But Harvey Weinstein did do what he did and now he's in jail suffering and he's doing very, very badly. He can't even walk properly. But you know, then there's the Will Smith slap which I mean, it could be real, it could be fake. At this point, we still don't know. It seems very, very real, though. Um, and it seems like he's going to get in serious, serious trouble, which he should. I mean, he physically attacked someone for making a joke, right? Now, the joke was very hurtful. It was very negative. It was very rude. It was very over the top. It was like, you know, she got an illness and she can't control it, right? But, I mean, it is just a joke and comedians do that, right? And it wasn't even that bad. You know, G.I. Jane is a cool character, right? Wasn't like he said, you know, something really bad, you know. Um, you know, like there are many cancer victims with, with that are bald, you know. Obviously, if he would have said something like that, it would have been like goner for everybody, right? You know, for not goner for everybody, but goner for him for making a joke like that. He would have been barred from being a comedian. But he made a joke called G.I. Um, Jane, right? So, you know, G.I. Jane, that's harmless, right? Like, we all know G.I. Jane's really cool. But we all know that Jada Pinkett's going through, through something very serious. Most girls that are in, especially in Hollywood, I mean, most girls in general, I'm not saying all, there's some girls that prefer to shave their head, they like the shaved head look, they want to be shaved head. Girls, all kinds of girls like shaved head, you know, that's fine. But Jada Pinkett is a Hollywood girl. She wants long hair, she wants beautiful hair. She's dating Will Smith, the guy that would have girls in his video with the long hair and the sexy, you know, B-O-T-Y, right? Um, so, you know, he's got girls like that all over the place that can go out with him, right? So to have a girl like her and to have her deal with this, you know, it's serious. It's really serious. Girls like her commit suicide over things like this. So it's very serious, right? So, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if it's even real or fake. But, I mean, you know, it's very serious on both ends. And I just find, you know, like Jada Pinkett is a beautiful girl, but, you know, being bald is an issue that beautiful girls would not want to deal with, right? And she's a Hollywood figure, right? Like, Hollywood figures do not want to worry about being bald. Like, it's like when Michael Jackson lost his hair in the Pepsi commercial, you know? It, it was never the same for him after that, you know? Anyway, totally enjoy the show. Bye now. Bye, everyone. Be darling.